Hello everyone and welcome to the Dark Forest. I'm going to build a really big tree and then make a house in it. So let's get started planting dark oak saplings. For a tree to grow, it needs to have four saplings and then you can use bone meal on it like this. I've got to be really careful where I use the bone meal, otherwise the tree will grow in the wrong place. But once it's finished, I get an absolutely massive tree and I'm gonna use this as the foundation for my house. I feel it's a little bit uneven around the side, so I'm gonna fill it in with dark oak logs to make it look like a full tree. When I'm happy with that, I'm going to find an area where I want to put the door. I'm not going to kill this tree, I'm just going to make sure there's a nice hole in it for me to live. Now I'm going to chip away all the wood inside and some of the stuff, fill it with dark oak planks. Then when that's finished, I'm going to build a staircase downstairs to my bedroom area. I want to live in the tree, but I don't want to be on the surface because I don't think it's safe and there's not enough space for a bed up here. So I'm going to remove all the stuff on the edges and put my staircase in. This is going to look really neat when it's finished. and then start working on the underground area. It needs to be a little bit bigger down here because I want to have a really big bed and maybe a plasma TV and aquarium because you know I'm living a life of luxury down here. It's a little tricky to get the dimensions exactly. I think this is too small. So I'm gonna make it a bit bigger for a bigger bed. I don't want to sleep in a tiny bed. It's gotta be fairly big. And now I can work on a mushroom themed bed. I'm gonna have two red beds placed here and then I can build a nice bedside table. That's gonna be dark oak stairs upside down. When that's finished, I'm gonna put two trap doors as like a little mini shelf and then I'll use mushroom stems to make the bed really, really big. Pop some red mushroom blocks in the middle and expand the bed a little bit. That looks really, really good. So now I'm going to put some carpets on top to make it look like I have pillows and a really big fancy red quilt. This is my mushroom bed. I really like this bed. Along the sides, I'll put some trap doors. These trap doors look like the sides of the bed. Ooh, that one doesn't work because the pressure plate's there. So let's work on the other side first. Now I can remove the pressure plate and finish the bed frame. I'll put eight bookcases behind my bed because I like reading. And then I'll put two plant pots with mushrooms in because this is the mushroom bed. Pop a lantern over there and on this side, remove that one. And then I'll put some nice jack-o'-lanterns on the floor for extra light. Behind me, I'm gonna work on a really big TV now. Who doesn't like to watch TV in the bedroom? That sounded like I smashed some of the dirt upstairs. Oh no, looks like I have to go and fix that. Put some dirt in and go check out the damage. Oh no, my bedroom is showing through. What I'll do then is put some dirt here to hide it. Now I can build a nice front door and a pressure plate. That looks kind of good from the outside so far. Let's go back inside and keep working. I'm going to start working on the windows. Looks a little bit too large. And I think there might be too many windows. I want to keep it a little bit secret. So I'm going to use logs to fill in this window and then check from outside to see how this one looks.
Yeah, I think it's too big. So what I'll do is hide that a little bit. Then I can build a 2x2 two two window and it looks nice and peaceful. Put trapdoors on the side to act as shutters. If it gets windy or rainy I can close those. Well I can't really but it does look good. And on the outside I can put some little flower boxes. I'll use some moss blocks and trapdoors to act as a box. On the moss I can plant some mushrooms. Now this side is a little bit funny because I can't really show the wood underneath. So I'll have to build the window box as part of the dirt. But that's not a problem, it still looks good like this. Downstairs in the bedroom I can finish my TV. For this one I'm going to use a painting called Fighters. This one's a rather large painting, 4x2, and that looks like a TV. Underneath it needs a stand, and to the side of the TV it needs a remote. It's not a button, it's a remote control. On the other side of the bed, I'm going to build a little aquarium. I've got to be careful because I'm very close to the surface, but I will hide it with dirt. Make sure everything in there is hidden, and then I can have my aquarium in peace. Lock it up with planks, make sure all the dirt is hidden. Put one final grass block up there, then I can build the aquarium. I'm going to put some sea lanterns in first. Three looks like it's too many, so I'll remove that one. And then I'm going to add red coral. When I add the red coral, without the water it starts to die very quickly. It looks kind of cool as dead coral, but I want to have this more of an alive fish tank. So I'm going to put a glass window up. That doesn't look right, I'll use dark planks instead and then add some water to the tank. Now I can put the coral back in without killing it. I'll seal up the hole real quick and then go back into the house. I can't dig around like that. Ah, oh, now I've got to get back into the aquarium. What should I do? Hmm. Oh well, I'll pop the glass. Let's get in there. Oh, it's too difficult. Yes, I'm in. Then I can put the glass back and work on the coral. Fire coral looks amazing. And now I can add some kelp and a dead tube coral. I can then use the bone meal on the sand to make it look like a fantastic little fish tank. Then I can use the summon command with persistence required and this variant to get these fish. I want mushroom coloured fish in there. I'll burst the grass block at the top and then go back into the house. I don't want to smash the glass again, that's silly. There we are, that fish tank looks amazing now. I think it's smart. Back at the top I'm going to put a simple crafting table and some chests. Then I can add a loom and that's my crafting space complete. To make the house look really fancy, I'm going to hang some red vines and then put green vines all the way on the inside of the house. This looks really natural. It's going to fill the house with insects in the summer, that's for sure. But I like the look of it. It looks smart and kind of like a smart witch's house. The vines on the stairwell look good, but they kind of slow me down, so I might have to remove those. See, I'm getting stuck on them. I don't want to climb the vines like ladders, that's just really annoying. So I'll remove a few of those, and it shouldn't interfere with me accessing the stairs. I think that looks really, really smart. On the wall of my crafting space, I'm going to add this simple painting. It's called Meditative, and it's a rose. It looks really good for my smart house. Back on the outside, I'm going to build a little pier for my boat. Nothing too complex and nothing too fancy.
When that's finished, I'll go around the tree to see if I can hang some lanterns up. I think one on the front looks really good. I can't hang them on the leaves of the tree, which is a shame, so let's go round and see. I think one there as well. That finishes the house. I've really enjoyed making this house today. If you've liked this video, subscribe. Leave me a comment about my build. If it's good, let me know. Criticism's welcome, but just don't be horrible. I'm Ixicle, and I'll see you next time.